Hey, this is Notzer, and today I wanted to showcase one of the builds that I really enjoyed when the new commander skills came out for the first time. And this is the AA Wooster build. Uh, you can clearly see my build on the screen. Uh, sorry for not having the icons incorporated, but obviously they made tons of changes. Uh, the highlights of this, I'm using the unique upgrade which is a slot 6 ability. It has improved cooldown and consumable effectiveness, but it also has an AA component. Uh, I'm tying that in with the AA skill in slot 3 as well. They both improve the time for priority sectors uh, activation, so remain really aggressive. You got extended duration radar, obviously, and then for the commander itself, I really like sort of a tank support AA com combined build uh, and you can see that the commander has a drill and rush, it has the AA skills, it has concealment, it has a uh, superintendent equivalent, incoming fire alert. Uh, it has all of the necessary skills to still be successful in the Wooster, but also have really great AA. And this game in particular showcases just how effective it can be in a, in a, in a game where it needs to be. Not necessarily a game where... It has to defend other people, but th if I was not capable of performing the actions that I do in this game, it's a loss, period. So, obviously, spawn near the uh, C point, so I move over here, and I'm just going to use the island as safety net and fire for free. Now, another competing build could be an IFHE build, and against a target like the Bismarck, you might notice uh, a little bit more damage, because you'll cross over the 32mm threshold. But it's not really necessary if you locate your shells effectively on the superstructure and ammo swap as frequently as you can. So I really have enjoyed this build. I honestly switched before, but every time I play my Wooster in an AA game, I always feel like, man, this just feels so much better than it did way back in the day. And yep, here we go. We switched to AP, and of course, we're going to fire on broadside. I, I don't know why the battleship is this far forward, but he's he's far forward, so we might as well fire on him. Uh, while all this is going on, notice aircraft carrier is slowly meandering some dive bombs over. Oh, <laughs> that was sweet. Right over the island. But here we go. Enemy dive bomber incoming. Uh, you love to act preemptively activate defensive AA, and then you want to, on top of that, do priority sector. That way you can do the most damage possible, and if you can get a flak burst here or there, you really knock out the aircraft carrier's attempt to attack, and he's going to get a drop on us. Okay. But we wipe out his entire squadron. And that wasn't very close, and I could have done it more efficiently. Uh, you really want to have defensive AA up prior to the target even coming into your AA range. Uh, that way, when it enters your AA range, it's already activated, and then you can activate your priority sector, take that 10% to knock out even more, and sometimes it's enough to move the squadron over enough that they pop with a flak burst. And that's really what you're playing for. You're playing for the flak burst. Uh, but, you know, it, we fought off the, AA, the uh, dive bomb well with our AA, and now we're just trying to look for easy damage. Uh, I'm aware that the attack rocket is looking potentially to attack us, and he probably knows that defensive AA isn't up. But with the unique upgrade, the cooldown is faster for radar, for defensive, for heal, for hydro. The Wooster becomes this sort of consumable platform that actually is really good at AA defense as well. Uh, and that's exactly what I want in a ship that is built like this, with so many different consumable options. Seems that the enemy aircraft carrier didn't like what he saw. Uh, we are under radar. I feel like, okay, let me return the favor and detect anyone on the other side. We have plenty of ships that are pushing forward. And I'm just attempting to make sure that they're at least spotted long enough that my team can take advantage and do some damage. The other side of the map, it's doing okay. Uh, no one's captured B point, which is good. So we've got the two base to one advantage. But no one's really getting any kills. So we're not really deciding whether it's a victory yet. We're just trying to deal with this. Hopefully the east side 
will not falter, but the west side, we've already lost two ships, two battleships, unfortunately, and that's a lot of your health to absorb shells. Cruisers can't really do it as well. That's one of the areas of emphasis for me as a player. I feel like I can't play the same cruiser build that I would normally have played. A defensive build, uh, I don't like offensive. I feel like offensive is too glass cannony. If you have two, uh, two offensive skills, or one versus one, it really comes down to luck. Uh, whereas if you play defensively, you can sort of outlast the opponent and then you can move on to the next target. So it really cascades very well. So that's why I emphasize uh, defensive support tank as my build path for pretty much all my classes. And I'm happy. I'm happy that we were able to potentially operate with added AA effectiveness. So we're firing from the enemy at B point, trying to defend as best as we can. Uh, someone is at C. And notice the attack rocket. He wants a good angle to attack. Defensive AA, then priority sector, and angle. That is the order that you need to do it in order to give yourself the best chance to avoid taking massive damage, which very very close to taking too much. But we are wiping out the squadron. So he paid for that. He paid dearly for that. Uh, we still have 15 seconds left on our defensive. Uh, it, it has been a really fun experience to use this build. I know players have a really negative view of AA in the era of the rework, but I have to argue that this actually feels like it could do something. And yes, it does require a unique upgrade. Yes, it requires all these different things, but it at least feels like the aircraft carrier can't just blindly attack me. He actually incurs a heavy loss for all of these attacks. And on top of that, I get to heal faster. So uh, it's very rare that I ever end a game without a heal, all my heals completely depleted. Uh, it couldn't be any more different compared to the previous version of this unique upgrade. And it really has allowed me to uh, enjoy the Wooster more. So I'm just thankful that with the changes to this unique upgrade, and the added benefit of the new commander skill tree, you have this build that is potentially a high contributor in an aircraft carrier game. I, uh, I'm even thinking about, you know, in a one versus one brawl, would this be a good counter to carriers being pulled all the time? It could be, uh, because it works very well against EDs. It works very well against cruisers. It really only suffers against big caliber battleships and big caliber heavy cruisers. But if you play right or efficiently, you can you can pretend like that's not the biggest thing that you're dealing with. I know, I know. Uh, so how this game is going, enemies captured C point, enemy captured B point. I'm just trying to harass targets that are spotted for free. It's a good opportunity. You shouldn't pass it up. I feel like we're kind of falling behind, but I don't want to become too over eager to throw my ship away. There's still too many unknowns. We still don't know exactly how the aircraft carrier plans to deal with us. We still don't know where those two DDs actually are. Uh, I know there must have been a DD capturing C point. And oh, look at this. We're going to get this cheeky window shot on this enemy cruiser. And I, of course, switched to AP. You really should switch to AP when the target is broadside and at an average distance. There's really no excuse for firing HE. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I feel confident that I don't need IFHE, because I am going to fire AP, uh, especially in those scenarios. So, we're doing okay damage. Uh, obviously, Yoshino couldn't punish us at all. This Chapayev is dealing with multiple friendlies. I'm trying to overwhelm him. I'm also trying to sail in my friendly territory, these two DDs. Obviously, the aircraft carrier can crush them. So I'm hoping my AA can at least protect them. And the Chapayev, he's, he's dropping pretty fast. Um, we have good location of our shells. We're getting up to 60,000, which is good. You know, it's 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 it could be better, but it, it's good for now. An enemy's gonna fire back at us. And we're gonna just try and maneuver as best as we can and angle um, while staying safe, because this clearly is still not a decided game. 
So activate defensive first, then priority. He instantly leaves the aura, but he's going to come back. And I still have the 175% up, hoping that the AA is going to be enough to pop him. He is trying to attack either me or the Grozovoy, but we're, we're angling pretty good. The AP is not going to do that much damage if you are perpendicular to it. He's obviously the German aircraft carrier, so you need to operate with the knowledge of what the squadron can do. Otherwise, he'll punish you with one of them. So we're doing all right. Uh, a couple enemy ships have passed away. <laughs> Sunk. Um, the DD that was over by Sea Point that captured it is pretty much gone. Aircraft carrier seemingly is still parked behind that. This game is still not decided, and unfortunately, Yoshino takes out our friendly... Uh, I'm just trying to deal with the air. And we got a defense expert, which is awesome. I'm sure he's so frustrated by this. It's great. It, 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 it warms my soul whenever I see the aircraft carrier lose this massive amount of squadrons on an attack, almost to the point where he can't even get a successful attack off. It feels really good. It doesn't happen that frequently. Ooh, hello, Didi. Hello, Didi. Hey, Yoshino gets knocked out. I'm just trying to fire on any ship that I can contribute positively. Unfortunately, the gearing takes out the Grozovoy. And we really are in a very big pickle. And I nearly was able to activate the torpedo before it was active. We didn't get that. We got two torpids on the ship. We did take a little bit of his aircraft down, but we are going to lose this game if we don't make a play. I still have my heal, I still have defensive, I still have radar. I'm still looking good. You know, it's 13 minutes into the game, but I haven't overused my resources. Uh, it's very easy to overuse your resources with the improved cooldown and the effectiveness. You know, it, you, you want to use it when you can get value out of it, but you don't want to use it on cooldown. You know, you just need to size up the situation. And friendly air, detecting the gearing. Obviously, we're going to go as hard as we can on this gearing because if it's not our aircraft carrier and landing something, the gearing's going to just survive. So I'm trying to place my shells well. Oh, it's so close. Oh, is he going to line of sight? Oh, the aircraft carrier's got our full broadside. This is going to hurt. I'm really hoping to wipe this out before it actually hurts. We get so incredibly lucky. The position, he's not able to punish the Citadel as hard and we actually do significant damage. That gearing though, he's still alive, man. So I have to try and work on him, work on the Richelieu, and oh yeah, the aircraft carrier is gonna attack us on cooldown. So, you know, there's that. But, friendly air spots the DD. I am attempting to capture. Uh, I'm also attempting to kill the gearing. I'm waiting to use my radar until I absolutely feel like he's you know, in a position he can't. We aim in the rear, probably should have aimed forward, doesn't matter. Enough shells are off target that we actually take them out. Uh, now he does have torpedoes and I just need to sail smart so I don't sail directly into them. Uh, and we are dropped off of, off of detection, so I would prefer to capture the base before taking any damage. Uh, the bomber is trying, of course. I'm hoping that he'll fail. Uh, I expect him to attack at any second. Oh, he missed. Good. And for whatever reason, the aircraft carrier is coming out to play. Maybe he feels like if he stalls it long enough, I don't know, maybe he's secondary. Uh, all I know is he's at a disadvantage. Uh, he is going to, obviously, interrupt our capture. But I'm not going to just let him sit there and fire on cooldown. I'm going to go at you. I'm a Wooster. I'm basically the only cruiser say for maybe the Minotaur, that can go straight at you and feel pretty confident that my AA is going to wipe it all out before it even is an issue. So he's angling pretty good. We do need to switch to HE, unfortunately. And we do need to make sure that the shells are located on the bottom of the hull, not the top of the deck. If it's on the deck, it's going to shatter. Uh, and he's, <laughs> he's attempting. He's attempting to stop this, but I'm not going to let him stop this. Friendly is bombing him, not doing much damage. If you wanted to bomb a tier 10, you need to bomb basically their command tower. Everything else is too thickly armored. It's pretty much going to be wiped out here. See you later. 
knock out the only squadron that he gets off. It's a complete trouncing of the aircraft carrier. Love, love, love seeing so many squadrons fall helplessly into the ocean. And he sends out one last set. These torps will hit us, but they won't hit us for much. Uh, so now it's one ship to the three ships remaining. And there's a friendly cruiser in the corner of the map. Uh, so we're going to capture the base. And I'm going to head towards the remaining enemy ship. Uh, was really happy with this game. Uh, it, it didn't get out of hand. And I was able to reliably defend myself. We took out targets that were important. Obviously DDs especially. But we didn't, we didn't get in a position where we went too much into the enemy territory without having protection. One of the nicest things about radar and one of the most unrealistic things about it is you can safely do it from behind an island. So that's mostly what I try to do is get a radar spot on something maybe near an objective uh, for my team so they can then take out the target itself. Uh, we get another base capture. Just adding on to that XP game I, I love trying to min-max as much as possible. We're not obviously going to be in range to finish this guy off. Friendlies will more than finish off the Richelieu. From the aircraft carrier, might even finish him off before the friendly gets a shell. Nope. Nevsky got him. Good job. So yeah, absolutely love my A Wooster. Highly encourage you guys to try it out for yourself, especially if you have that unique upgrade. It really makes a big difference. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to check out more of my content, you can click the most recent or the most relevant uploads. You also choose to subscribe to my channel. We do World of Warship videos, first impression how-to news and review related. My North American recruit invite is on the screen. You can take advantage of that. I stream at twitch.tv slash Thank you and have a wonderful day.